Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome to OpenTTD. This is an open source simulation game as they describe it based upon the Micropose game Transport Tycoon Deluxe. This basically attempts to mimic the original game and uh, also extend upon it with some new features. It's kind of a reverse engineering of that old game. It's been around for a bit to play, but it can be played in modern browsers and everything. I recently decided to give it a shot. Um, I'd heard about it a while ago, but just this last weekend started playing it and I'm in love with it. I love it. So I thought I would make a very brief video telling you that you might be interested in this, that I'll have links in the description. It is a free download and that might be all you need from here on out. You may say, you know what, let me go check it out right now and that's fine. But I am going to jump into a game here. I've kind of got my settings uh, figured out. I'm going to generate this and I thought I would just talk to those of you still here <laughs> who haven't gone to download it um, a little bit about my first experience in it and I want to show you how to connect like two bus stations because once you know how to do something like that that kind of translates through the rest of the uh, transportation op options you know trucks and planes and boats and stuff like that so I'm going to kind of pan out here and look around, but basically this last weekend I had a friend over and we were, my buddy Knox, and we decided to jump into this and play a multiplayer and we just had a blast. We ended up playing until like four in the morning and um, I just thought, you know what, I might do a little video and fill you guys in on this. Now typically a game I really enjoy, I'll end up doing multiple videos on, but I don't think I will probably do videos for this, I, but I just wanted to do at least the one and say, hey, check this game out <laughs> if you get a chance. So basically, we've got cities all over the place. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Transport Tycoon, which I'm not, I didn't play any of the Tycoon games. I played SimCity and stuff like that, but didn't really do these that got into the transportation heavily. But um, for those who are not really familiar, basically the way this game works is you've got a lot of industries around here, different buildings and everything. If I click on this one, you can see it as a steel mill. I'll put it right next to it. This guy here is a farm. I'll put that next to that guy. Over here we have coal. So you get these little windows popped up and you'll see things like the coal is producing this much coal. The steel mill is requiring iron and will produce steel. The farm is actually producing grain and livestock. So this game is all about supply and demand. Um, if I actually click this guy up here, the power plant, you will see that it requires coal. And down here, we actually produce coal. So we would wanna connect these guys together and we would start to make a profit. Now in a game like this, I typically am used to, you know, having a city and you expand from there. You know, this is my city, my starting city. But the way this guy works is you can just go all over the map. So I've been, in playing it recently, hopping around, finding little things to connect together and um, just doing those very quickly. So let's jump into a big city doesn't really matter which one for this demonstration. Uh, let's just go down here to Sartwood. <laughs> so we have all these buildings. Now we can't really individually click these. There's really nothing important about any of these individually, um, uh, at least in this immediate phase. And we do have some, uh, we have a power plant down here and we have some iron, that's what this is here, and a farm. We're gonna go ahead and close those out. So we've got some industries around here. One of the kind of fun elements of this game is trying to find those things, especially when a bunch of things are together and you can really do, you know, connect multiple demands with supply um, in a kind of a close range. Um, at least that's what I like doing when you find multiple. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But as I mentioned, let me show you bus stuff. Now, this video is not about being a tutorial about how to play the game, not by any means. I'm way too new to it. But what I will tell you is I watched a little video and, um, saw how some buses were set up and once I knew how to do that that basically informed everything else for me and I thought I would just do the same so up here these are kind of the four main uh, sections we have trains we have roads uh, well tracks roads canals and then we've got the airports so we're gonna jump into the roads and here we can actually uh, build roads destroy roads build a depot for making vehicles and then we have bus stops and we do have truck stops here but we're dealing with the bus stuff and then bridges. So let me show you the primary elements that got me started anyway. So first, right off the bat, we're gonna actually build um, bus stations. We're just gonna do two. We could do three, four, five, as many as we want, but we're just gonna do two. Um, in this, you actually don't rotate uh, the, the structures you're gonna put down yet to choose the direction that you'd like. And I'm gonna do one that actually is on a street versus these are like um, dead ends where people can turn around. So let's go ahead and take this guy. And we can put this here. Now, the purple squares are showing me the area in which it's kind of um, 
access accessible right to these the surrounding area the passengers and everything also right in here which says accepts nothing and supplies nothing um, that's an indication of what it accepts and supplies so if I just move this around you'll see passengers and then nothing if I move too far off so let's just go ahead and we're gonna put one here and then we're gonna do another one on the other side of town just over here there we go so now we have two bus stops the next thing we want to do is we do want to make sure that there are roads connecting and the buildings kind of in the way I'm gonna hit X there we go and I could see that there is road connecting those up which is great so let's go ahead and make a depot because we need to make vehicles so we'll take this opening here um, let's actually hide everything again let's put this yeah I think we'll just put this right here so there you go, we have the bus depot, which is gonna make vehicles. Now, um, it's actually just a road depot, as it says. It'll make any um, driving vehicles. So if I select that, we've got this window here. We're gonna say new vehicle. That's gonna bring this window. This game has a lot of windows. <laughs> One thing to note is you can actually pin these in place like that, and delete will close all windows unless they're pinned. So I just hit delete and those remained open. So you, can, you have some uh, control here. So the very first thing selected when I brought this up and hit new vehicles is a super bus. And then we've got all kinds of other trucks here. And just a thing of note, any resource that you're gonna move around has a specific vehicle for it. So you can see this is oil, mail, livestock, goods, grain, stuff like that. The bus is selected up top, we're gonna to buy it. So what we've got now is we actually have the bus in the depot. It's telling us there's a bus in here. More specifically, we have the bus we just made and it has its own window here. And you can see it's stopped, it's not going anywhere. We need to give it orders. That's what this little arrow is here. So we're gonna click orders, and then we have a go to button. So I'm just gonna hit that once, and I'm gonna select this bus stop. I'm gonna hit it again, and select the other bus stop right there. So now you can see go to Sartwood Central, that's right there, go to Sartwood, and then it's gonna go ahead and repeat that. So I can actually hit the stopped here, and it's gonna start driving. So I'm gonna hit delete, and you can see the bus leaving, and it's gonna go back and forth between those places. It's gonna load passengers and all of that. When I select this bus stop, you can see it accepts passengers here, and then same with the other one over there. So if we watch the bus, he went. Now, one thing I noticed about the game, I don't know if this is a bug, but every time I make a truck for the first time, it kind of hits its points and doesn't do anything. It's almost like it needs to know its route. Let me go try this route real quick <laughs> before it can do anything. So it hit this one and now it says 43 passengers. It's gone through Sartwood. You can see it's 44. This is kind of stacking up. Back over here, we're at 101. This is going pretty quickly. So he's gonna pull in there and there you go. Loading up, got the percentage. You can see the passenger number change over here and he'll drive right on over. Now an added step here is because there's so many passengers, you can see there's still some left here and there's gonna be quite a bit. This bus isn't gonna be able to do everything for us. We can actually select on the depot again, um, down here. And then there is a clone vehicle button and I'm gonna select this bus. Now that not only duplicates the bus, but it actually duplicates its orders. So if I bring vehicle two down here and hit orders, you'll see it has the same orders as the other bus. So I'm gonna close that, I'm gonna hit stopped, which will now drive it out. In some cases I end up making a lot of these um, buses. I may do like three or four and um, move on. So if I kind of pan out here, you can see, obviously we have the two stops and buses going. And literally I could go anywhere. I could just kind of hop to another big city. I could throw down some stations real quick. And the fun part about this game is it can be played multiplayer. So cool, so cool. Apparently you can have up to 15 companies in the game with 255 players because you can be on the same company if you'd like. So that's just insanity. I think that would be fun to play with a good number of people. I do plan on doing that. I've only played with one other person um, at a time so far and um, I want to play with more. <laughs> Okay, this is my other save. This is one I actually started last night. Um, down below you can see I'm at 3.4 million at the very bottom. I've been spending a lot because I've been experimenting. So I did um, a train here and I'm basically gathering up oil and iron and then bringing that into town and actually dropping that off. I also have um, uh, the oil is coming in here getting dropped off. I have trucks picking up the oil and delivering to this train and then the train is bringing the oil up to a refinery and if I select the refinery it takes oil and creates goods 
So that train is actually bringing goods back. You can see three oil tankers here, and then these are three goods cars on the back side of it. When that gets brought back around, I think I'm dropping the goods off here at Runborn Cross West. Trucks are picking that up and delivering it into town at this stop at the airport. When I select it, if I bring this down, you can see it's got 468 passengers. Um, that's because of the airport. Uh, 366 bags of mail, 10 crates of goods, that's what they're bringing in. So when you create a bus stop um, or a truck stop, which truck stops are used for like all other kinds of vehicles aside from buses, um, if you create them close enough together they kind of merge. You could see this um, uh, Runborn Cross West has two icons, train and a truck, that's because I put this truck stop right here and the train stop right here, so they become one, so it's kind of a good way to bring things together. So I put one right next to the airport, so it's meshed them all together. The nice thing is, when I make a plane, I can actually uh, change it into a plane that carries goods, and then I can take the goods from here off to another town uh, to be sold, somewhere that accepts goods. So anyway, whew, it's quite the mouthful. <laughs> that was just a very tiny piece of the game I wanted to show you guys, just to get you some insight into kind of what's going on here, because basically that information I just showed you was pretty much what I needed to see to know whether I wanted to try the game or not. So I just want to give you that little bit of taste to see if you want to play it. So this is definitely, this video for me is definitely like a public service announcement. It's just a little PSA that you might want to try this game, that I'm really enjoying it. I will be playing quite a bit of it. Um, it's free, which I know is a great price for most of you. <laughs> so that's definitely a good thing. Go check that out. Links down in the description to all of this stuff. I'll, I'll link to um, Wikipedia. They have an article about the game that goes more in detail about how it was made. And uh, yeah, I do want to thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.